superhero movies have taken over Hollywood in the last decade. How awesome is it to see our favorite comic book superheroes up on the big screen? The answer, friends, is very. Sometimes the films are casted perfectly and do such an amazing job at translating page to screen, but other times they miss their mark. And after a decade of some change, sometimes it's time for a new change. We have compiled a list of our superhero movies that are in serious need of a reboot. Before we get started, make sure you fly on over and hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with all things CBR. It's easy. Just click that button. We try to save as many people as we can. Sometimes that doesn't mean everybody. But if we can't find a way to live with that, maybe nobody gets saved. Captain America. When we think of amazing casting choices in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we automatically think of Captain America. Let's face it, no one has embodied their role in the MCU more than Chris Evans has as the patriotic Cap. He is Steve Rogers at this point. Seriously, can you imagine anyone else in this role? However, all good things must come to an end. There's been much discussion about his contract coming to an end after Avengers Infinity War. As great as he has been over the last few years, it might be time for a change. We know we're pretty bummed out as well. Evans recently decided to extend his contract in order to stay on through Avengers 4, which seems to be the movie that will change the MCU as we know it, and we couldn't be more excited. It sounds like he's done with Captain America's solo movies, so what better way to give the character a fresh start than introduce someone else in the title role? Marvel could hand the shield to either Anthony Mackie's Falcon or Sebastian Stan's Bucky Barnes. Only time will tell. What do you think about a new Captain? I'm doing what has to be done. To stave off something worse. You keep telling yourself that. The Avengers. The MCU is, of course, in debt to its main team of assembled heroes, the Avengers. We love heroes, especially when they're all together and arguing like siblings. However, after Avengers 4, we know the MCU is going to be changed forever. How exactly is the real mystery? But if characters like Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America are due to experience changes, maybe it's time for the Avengers to change as well. Once you start changing a couple of the characters, there's pretty much no choice, and there are actually enough iterations of the Avengers to start a whole new franchise. If Marvel plans to focus on new characters like Black Panther and Captain Marvel going forward, how about embracing the new Avengers name? Maybe the Winter Soldier leads the secret Avengers on more S.H.I.E.L.D.-led underground missions. How cool does that sound? The true ideal dream film, of course, would be to introduce the uncanny Avengers. If Marvel can ever get Fox and the X-Men to team up for a movie, this would be the way to go. We hope this becomes reality in our lifetime. Are you Tony Stank? Yes, this is, this is Tony Stank. You're in the right place. Iron Man. We think we can all agree that one of the best Marvel films to date is Marvel Studios' first film, Iron Man. Yep, Iron Man changed the superhero film genre forever. And while the first movie was beyond great, every subsequent film starring Tony Stark has failed to make good on the lessons he should have learned by now. It's a tiring act, offset only by the characters around him in the Avengers films. While Robert Downey Jr. getting up there in age and his recent spat with Marvel, maybe it's time to move on from his vision of Tony Stark. The problem, of course, is that RDJ completely reinvented invented the comic book character, and there aren't any other iconic iterations of Iron Man. Like Chris Evans in Captain America, Robert Downey Jr. is Tony Stark. Perhaps the linchpin of the entire MCU, it won't be easy to reboot this particular franchise without undoing everything else. Can you even imagine anyone else playing the iconic genius Tony Stark? Well, mm-hmm. What if, instead of recasting Tony Stark, Marvel headed in a new direction? What if, say, a new character steps into the role? You ready for this? Let's find out. X-Men. If you think back to what your first superhero movie was, chances are it's probably X-Men, right? Well, the franchise that really started it all just can't seem to come to an end. Not that that's a bad thing, of course, but sometimes we think it's time for a change, especially when your actors are getting a tad bit older. First, there was the original trilogy, then the Wolverine trilogy, and now the new series of X-Men movies. We were excited as they looked like a fresh new start, only to be seriously disappointed as these new films got tucked back into the original trilogy. The older films were from before the time anyone knew how to handle a superhero universe. Fox's X-Verse has been around for 17 years now. Remember, X-Men First Class and how refreshing and fun that movie felt? Then sometimes before the sequel, they decided to connect it to the other films. X-Men Days of Futures Past was a fine movie, but X-Men Apocalypse was a mess. Now we have to watch the story of Dark Phoenix played out again. Why can't we just cut ties with the past and start anew? Listen to me, I'm a long way, and I've watched a lot of people die, good people and friends. 
If you don't wallow in self-pity and do nothing, then you're gonna watch the same thing, you understand? Wolverine. Of course, we know that the X-Men franchise started all of the awesome comic book movie hoopla, and within the X-Men, there are classic characters and none are so iconic as the wild man with the sideburns himself, Wolverine. The most recent film with Wolverine as the main character was Logan, and spoil alert, the film killed off Wolverine. Now Fox has two ways of going from here. They can either leave him dead and continue the story of X-23 taking on the role of Wolverine. Wolverine, or a new X-Men movie can reintroduce him in a more comic book faithful representation of the character. If we're being truthful here, Logan should have probably ended Fox's X-Men universe, but the almighty dollar has spoken as it usually does. While it might be cool to see Logan in the traditional yellow and blue spandex, it's hard to imagine anyone other than Hugh Jackman portraying the character. He is Wolverine. He practically jump out of the comic book pages. But Wolverine has been in so many movies already that it might be time to give him a break, don't you think? Let's see what Fox can do with X-23. After all, a light reboot is still a reboot, right? Question. What if I see something that I want to take and it belongs to someone else? Well, you will be arrested. But what if I want it more than the person who has it? still illegal. Guardians of the Galaxy We've hooked on a feeling and we know you have too. Unless you've been hiding under a rock the past couple years, chances are you know who the Guardians of the Galaxy are. And heck, we'd even venture to say you're probably a huge fan, right? Well, we don't blame you. Almost everyone is. Guardians of the Galaxy has been a fun romp through space and snappy jokes and lovable characters. The second film in the series, however, may have jumped the shark to the point that there isn't a whole lot more they can do here. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 introduced many of the original team from the future with Starhawk, Martin X, Charlie 27, and other making appearances. Why not travel to the future and see what things are like there with Guardians 3000? Hey, worth a shot, right? Introducing Major Victory as a future analog to Captain America would be an interesting way to explore the legacy of superheroes into the 30th century. Starhawk's ability to alter the timeline and himself means we can get more traditional take on the one who knows without Sylvester Stallone. You're a monster, Zod. I'm gonna stop you. Man of Steel. We think it's time for a new Superman. We know what you're thinking. Another one? We just got a new one. Yes, we certainly did, but hear us out. Man of Steel may have seemed like a good enough opening salvo to a Superman movie franchise and a DC Comics film universe, but it has since fallen flat, and the sequel got derailed in favor of the misguided and overwhelmingly maligned Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, which we won't get into here. But this just shows how uninteresting the powers that be are in another Superman solo film. Maybe Justice League can do the entire universe a favor and reboot it, to be devoid of all traces of previous influences and do something fresh and different. This means a new Superman movie full of color and fun, a likable cast of characters who got their chance to shine, and of course a Clark Kent that's more selfless and less arrogant. We don't have to go full Chris Reeve, as no one can ever come close, but a hint of humanity wouldn't hurt. It's part of what makes Clark Kent so endearing. Why did you bring us back? Realize what you've done, what you've started? I was protecting my home. You had a need to protect your friends. How could you hope to protect the kingdom? Get the healing room! No! Thor. The most worthy superhero on this list is the mighty god of thunder himself, Thor. Out of the original MCU movies, the Thor franchise has easily been the weakest of them all. Thor was a disappointment, and Thor the Dark World was, needless to say, a bit more of a letdown. But fret not, friends, because it looks like we have some good news. Marvel seems to have learned some lessons from the success of Guardians of the Galaxy, and Thor Ragnarok looks like they're taking the character and the franchise in a fun new direction, and we can't wait. However, where can they really go from here? By the end of the forthcoming movie, Chris Hemsworth would have easily achieved everything he could possibly hope to do with the character. Maybe it's time to do something a little different. The success of Wonder Woman has proven just how successful a woman-led superhero movie can be. Are you catching our drift? What if they allow the Odin son to fade away and introduce the current female Thor, who is actually Jane Foster, as the new Thor? This gives endless new possibilities to the franchise. The Incredible Hulk We haven't seen a solo Hulk film since 2008's The Incredible Hulk redeemed the Jade Giant from that 2003 debacle. Sure, it's considered to have taken place in the MCU, but nothing, and no one, Thunderbolt Ross aside, has carried over from that film, so it feels pretty disjointed. Eric Bana was okay, and Edward Norton was certainly fine in the role, but Mark Ruffalo has excelled it to a whole new level. Seriously, he's what we've been missing. It's why so many of us are clamoring for a solo Hulk movie, because Marvel might have finally found 
found the right guy for the job. Unfortunately, as Mark Ruffalo recently reminded us, Universal has no interest in working with Marvel to distribute a new Hulk film in the way Sony has with Spider-Man. What a total bummer. While it's unclear on who owns the right to what characters, any kind of Hulk derivative – She-Hulk, Red Hulk, etc. – are most likely covered under Universal's distribution rights. So for the moment, we seem to be at an impasse for anything solo for the Hulkster. But things can change, right? Hey, just let us dream. Where you been? Looking for you all morning. Why don't you pay your phone bill? Mad scientist goes berserk and we don't have pictures. I heard Spider-Man was there. Spider-Man. Okay, yes, we know that Spider-Man Homecoming was just released, and it's been met with much acclaim. Heck, we love it too! We think Tom Holland is excellent in the role, but let's be serious. How many times are we going to see Peter Parker learn to use his powers responsibly? Since the first Spider-Man movie in 2002, we have had six different films, starring three different actors, set in three separate continuities, all playing Peter Parker. We love our favorite neighborhood Spider-Man and seeing him juggle love, high school, and superpowers. There are multiple Spider-Man movies forthcoming, but can't they do something different? Maybe venture out of the safe Spidey Peter Parker zone? As great as Tom Holland was at playing younger Spider-Man, we've seen this all before. Marvel has the chance to do something unique by passing the role on to someone else. At this point, fans are dying to see a live-action interpretation of Miles Morales. Even if they don't want to do something as drastic, introducing Ben Riley or Spider-Girl would liven things up and give fans something new. Sorry, Pete, but it's time for something a little different. Let's hand in those web shooters and get the ball rolling. This was aged for a thousand years. The barrels built from the wreck of Grunhill's fleet is not meant for mortal men. Stop trying to scare us. Come on. Well, there you have it, folks. Those were some of the superhero films that are in serious need of a reboot. Are there any we missed? Which are your favorite? Do you disagree or agree with us? Let us know in the comments section below. If you haven't already, subscribe and like our video. Be sure to check out more awesome videos like this on our playlist. We promise you, you won't regret it. As always, thanks for watching our channel.